Good morning, Winchester Village. Happy Monday, May 13th, 2024. I hope you had a great weekend and are ready for a great week at Winchester Village. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your hand over your heart and repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our moment of silence. It's a Mindful Monday, and we're going to review the things that we need to do to have mindfulness to get our brains ready for a great week of being present. So remember, we're going to focus on our five senses, what we see, what we smell, what we taste, what we hear, what we touch. We're going to focus on those deep breathing, so taking breaths in and letting breaths out. We're going to remove bad thoughts. If something bad happened this weekend, it's over. It happened later. We're going to have a great day and we're going to move forward. So we're going to work to make sure we are improving and growing each and every day. So let's bow our heads and think about something we can do to improve and grow today. Great job, everyone. You may be seated. Our salad choices for the week, Monday, we're having chicken smackers or pepperoni and cheese pizza munchable, beef nachos on Tuesday or yogurt muffin and string cheese, Italian pasta bake or spicy chicken salad, Thursday is hamburger or taco salad with tortilla chips, and Friday is pizza pull aparts or popcorn chicken salad. Teachers, you're welcome to pause the video at this time and make your choices. If not, we will continue on. Today's lunch is chicken smackers with dinner roll, peanut butter and jelly encrustable, um, pepperoni or cheese pizza munchable, mashed potatoes, fruit, and milk. We want to wish, we've got a couple of students celebrating their birthdays today. A special happy birthday to Robert Ibongo. Bosco Elias is celebrating a birthday today, and so is Kaylin Hicks. Those friends should stop by the office for their birthday surprise. Um, this will be our last week of Chromebooks, so if you damage your Chromebook, um, I won't be replacing it uh, as we prepare for the end of the school year. So please make sure you're taking good care of your Chromebooks, because after this week, I will not be replacing it. Uh, yearbooks arrived the other day, and we do have a few extra yearbooks for sale. They are $22. Um, have your parents reach out to Mrs. Tasker in the office. Uh, they are first come, first serve, so when we run out, we're done. And we've got a couple of fins who need to finish Evaluate this week, but it's looking pretty good. We're right on target uh, to where we've been in the past, so great job students, great job teachers. Keep up the great work. Speaking of evaluate great scores, I want to brag on these five boys and girls. They all received a perfect score. So congratulations to Delima from Mrs. Newmeyer's class. And I messed it up the other day. She got a perfect score in language arts. Great job, James and Mrs. Duncan or Miss Duncan's third grade class. He got a perfect score in language arts. Billion got a perfect score in math from Mrs. Smith's fourth grade. So did Amos from Mrs. Smith's fourth grade math and Peter from Miss Reilly's fifth grade math got a perfect score as well. So great job to those boys and girls. I'm so proud. I was watching and I was looking at the scores over the weekend and to see boys and girls who maybe at the beginning of the year were at 20 or 30 percent who are now on 70 or 80 or 90 percent. That is fantastic. And we're very, very proud of you. Don't forget, Miss Cummings is accepting uh, permission slips to participate in the summer robotics workshop. Uh, remember, you're going to start practicing the summer, uh, the new game for 24-25. We'd love for one of our teams to make it to state. We were so close this year, and we know uh, we've got a good chance to do it next year. All right, I want to wish our third graders good luck. Um, not all of them, uh, but we've got a group of third graders who are going to take I Read 3 one more time to see if they can pass it. We've got a lot of kids who are really, really close, you know, just 5, 10, 15 points away, and I think they could do great. So good luck to those third graders. Show everyone how smart you are and pass the test and be done. All right, let's have a great Monday. You know, we're getting close to the end of the year. We've got a lot of fun events planned for this last couple of weeks. So let's make sure we're following directions. We're listening to our teachers. We're keeping those hands and feet to ourselves 
so we can have a marvelous Monday and a wonderful week. Have a great day, Wildcats. The choice is yours. Bye, everyone.